Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. My name is Charlie, and for the first time in a very long time, we are getting back into some happy home paradise planning. Mm-hmm. So what are we waiting for, Melon? What? I don't I didn't think that through. But anyway, let's just get into it. I, it's been so long. I miss it. The the creative juices are just like congealed in that's a horrible word. Never mind. Hi, Charlie. It's good to see you. It's great to see you too. Ooh, look at all these little I Ooh, this is cute. Hold on. Wait, so's this. 180 pokey? Uh, yes. All right, it is time to get working. Let's get out there. I'm so excited. Ah, it's just good to be back. Who do we have? Ooh, okay. America. As an American, I could do that justice for sure. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with America. And this is such an interesting villager, Peanut, to want an American vacation home. For some reason, that just does not track for me. But you know what? Let's get into it. Peanuts Americana Museum. I see. I see your vision, Peanut. Okay, which island looks the most like America? I'm going with this one. I like it. Peanuts americana museum what are we gonna do here i'm realizing i did not leave myself much room to like do things because all i have is this space which is mostly taken up by a house but that's okay because like a diamond i thrive under pressure hmm, so it's looking like peanut wants like a diner vibe but instead i think i'm gonna go oregon trail you know so we're gonna start with the carts i think that that's just a, an oregon classic hello okay now i'm gonna be honest i don't know much about oregon Oregon Trail. All I know is that a lot of people died of dysentery and it was also possibly in Oregon. So some kind of American I am, but we're going to work with that information and we're going to make a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay. So I'm going to start off with just some dirt patches everywhere because, um, Oregon has a lot of dirt. Now we have these carts, but I kind of want to have like horses that are pulling them. All right. I currently have three options for horses. We've got this reindeer. Oh, okay, there it goes. Now, this reindeer can really only be, like, lights, and I don't really want that, so I think I might go with the springy ride-on horse. It kind of has the most realistic horse-like aspects. Like, come now. That's a horse. Oh, there it goes. Freaking nut. Now it's gonna take me another 50 years to find this thing. Oh, never mind. It's right here. So that one over there is brown. I'm gonna make this one black. And I kind of want to make like a horse stable for next to the little. What even are we building? I don't know. Am I still building a diner? Oh my gosh, this works perfect. I'm actually so pleased. So this is kind of our little barn here. And then I'm going to get a couple more of these horses and just put them in there. Oh, they're so cute. I'm so into this. Okay. I I think that we're pretty much done with this little horse area. I just kind of added random little things in this area. I like this termite mound just feels like Oklahoma to me. I mean, Oregon. Hello. Uh, what else can we even do here? Like we're on a beach. This does not really help. Maybe we can have a little area where like, uh, the, the people are sitting and just kind of like chatting. I also kind of feel like this wheat fits it just feels kind of like rural America. I'm not really sure. Oh, that just adds a lot. Okay, so we have like that little cooking campfire stuff down on the beach. I just want to add like some logs or something to sit on. Okay, I can't find a log bench and it's infuriating me. But you know what? I'm going to put one of these guys down because... Uh, he died from dysentery. Okay, I think that this is looking good. I believe we are done on the outside, so let us go on the inside. Okay, what are we working with? A jukebox. I'm not sure if that was around in the time of the Oregon Trail. Oh, this song is bumping, though. Do, do, do. Oh, that is so good. Okay, well, it feels like we're kind of being forced to do a bit of like a diner thing, and I don't really want to, so I think I won't. Actually, maybe I will. Maybe this is where everybody was going to um, on the Oregon Trail. Oh, this is just lovely. You know what it reminds me of is a Cinderella story with Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray, where her dad owned a diner and like she had to work in the diner and all her friends were like diner girl or like not her friends, like her bullies would call her diner girl. I'm just going to make a tiny little diner because I feel like we've done like we we've worked our magic on the outside, you know? All right. And I think we're done. Look at this. 
this place, it's looking like a real diner. Hello, Peanut. And I think even though Peanut like technically works in a diner or like lives in a diner, I don't even know. I kind of want her to be a cowboy. I'm not sure how well that fits into the Oregon Trail, but at this part of my life, I just don't care. Now, as much as I love the inside with the diner, I just want to take a look at the outside, the Oregon Trail, a very, very important part of American history that I have displayed for us today. Ignore the neon sign. Oh, she's so happy to have dysentery. Woo! Wow. Oh my gosh. A little treasure. Our little peanut. Oh yeah. That Just that feeling of having done an amazing job that nobody else could do. Welcome back. Here's the 15,000 pokey. I forgot how well I'm paid. Thank you. Now, I believe Nico has an important announcement for us. Take it away. Thanks, Lottie. I suppose it's nothing too surprising, but I'm pleased to announce that the venue is ready. I went all out and put up decorations all over the place. I think folks will really enjoy them. It'd also be nice to have some music to make the event really pop. That reminds me, Wardell, didn't you say you knew someone in the music biz? Wardell and KK are best friends. What the heck? Any chance they could handle the music at the venue? Leave it to me. Continue your excellent work on vacation homes, Charlie. It shouldn't be long until we get permission to work on the next facility. I'm counting on you. Thanks, everyone. Oh my gosh, we're so close to the KK concert. I could pee. First, I kind of just want to see what the venue looks like for the KK event. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Why was the scaffolding up? Like the scaffolding was the decorations. <laughs> All right, we got to get, we got to build those houses stat. Oh, you know what? I actually just did a stream where I opened up Amiibo card packs until I found my final dreamy for quinoa, Melba. And I now have like a bunch of Amiibo cards and people were saying that I could use them to decorate the houses of those villagers. So I kind of want to give that a try. How does one do that? though. Do I do it here? There's a little amiibo thing. You're ready to work with VIP clients. Oh boy. Maybe I should contact someone using amiibo and see if they're interested. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I have the perfect person. Hold on. Let me go get it. Let me go get them. Okay, leave your comments below. Who do you think I'm about to bring to do a vacation home for? I'm actually giving away like all the amiibo cards that I got on that stream. So if you want to go watch the video and comment who your favorite villager is, maybe slap a little subscription onto the, the channel. Then maybe you too could get an amiibo card or uh, an unopened pack. I have a bunch of those left too. Would you like to connect with this client? Yes, please patch me through. Hey there, it's Rosetti. Everybody loves me, you know? Hey, you're asking if you can build me a vacation home? Well, twist my arm, why don't you? Okay, I'll head over to hear you out. Yes! I love Rosetti so much. I'm counting on you, so make sure it's solid. I don't have anything in mind for a vacation home, so you go nuts. Just make it good, got it? I would never, ever dream of disappointing you, Rosetti. I have already done that too much in my lifetime. Okay, so where would Rosetti like to live? Let's see. I'm, I'm imagining like a hole. And this looks kind of hole-like, so I'm gonna go with this. Let's do this. Let's do this! Sorry, I'm really excited. Okay, so hear me out. Rosetti is a mole. Mole facts. Moles are insectivores. They eat 70 to 100% of their weight in worms, grub, and insects. Oh my gosh, chill. All right, I got just the idea for this place. So to start us off, I'm just gonna go with this dark dirt path and I'm gonna do the entire place. He looks just so happy. Ah, oh, so neutral rich so lush okay so that is our foundation maybe if we use like these log fences we can just put them along the sides and it'll feel more like a like a mole tunnel a mole run if you will that's what they're called okay that looks good and now I have an item that I think is going to work just perfectly for this build and that <laughs> aha the termite mound now you may be wondering how is this connected to a mole at all well to begin with it kind of isn't but moles do make little mole holes mole burrows and I feel like these termite mounds kind of look perfect for like the walls of a dirt hole some of these rocks would work as well there's rocks in little mole burrows I'm sure oh do you ever think think that moles have like stubbed their toe because there's just like a rock in the wall that's so sad nobody is even there to hear them scream this dormant volcano i may be able to twist into like the top of a mole hole oh yes this is perfect okay okay gonna sneeze <laughs> Sorry, it's just my creative genius. There's too much of it. It needed to escape. Now, something that I think about Rossetti, I feel like maybe he's a hoarder. He just kind of looks that way. So I feel like it would be kind of cool to just have like a bunch of stuff around that he's just like, I don't know, stolen or something. Because if we just leave it as like a little dirt 
palace. I don't think he's gonna like it very much. <laughs> he's probably gonna have a lot to say about it. And you know how he gets when he's upset. I don't want to deal with the... <gasps> A son. It's his little son. Welcome home, Dad. Oh, how is the with the resetting today, Dad? I love you, Dad. Sorry. Or you know what? I'll only go with stuff that he like claps or nods at when I put it down. Nothing. Nothing. A golden dung beetle? Yes, he says. Okay. Your wish is my command. I also think it would be kind of fun to put like little bugs and stuff for him that he like little little snacks i suppose okay i think that the outside is done it's looking good let us go into the inside and see what magic we can work in there now i don't mean to be boring but part of me feels like we should just why is there a second resetting photo part of me feels like maybe we should just make this like a dirt hole like a very dark and dirt filled hole like i don't think a mole could ask for anything else really magnificent also how much how many babies do moles have let me see two to eight babies in a litter two to eight we have one outside hello 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 father okay we'll have five we got one little baby rossetti over there one admiring the rocks wait oh he's mining them he's so talented we'll have two of them be uh throwing the old pig skin oh he loves it and i guess this guy can just be uh he can be eating a bug okay i think we're pretty much done here by the way what kind of theme are you thinking for this place what are you gonna call it oh <gasps> I can't write and sons. Okay, fine. Rossetti's dirt hole will do. It's short, but simple. Rossetti's dirt hole. Oh, he's got a little leaf. Oh, are you munching on that? What's that, a ladybug? Mm-mm, good. Well, that was just amazing. How about that amazing work? I love you, Rossetti, but I just want... I want you and your, your kids to be able to have some quality time in your new home. Okay, hugs and kisses. Mwah. Oh, you know, that one was definitely worth more than 15,000 pokey. I don't get paid enough around here, but it's okay. This last job was the 30th vacation home you've been in charge of? That means we've grown our client base considerably and we've cleared our goal toward holding the event. We need to go out and celebrate. I'll leave it to you. You know, it's a special event. I think we should go to the Shrek Strand. Congrats on designing 30 vacation homes, Charlie. Wow, the big 3-0. You're doing great, Charlie. Uh, that's 30 lives that I've touched in a meaningful way. Why is Wardell wearing? that. Before I forget, Wardell, how are things going with getting a music act for the event? Oh yeah, it's going well. That means once we finish the last facility, we'll be finished with all of our prep work. Speaking of that final facility, I just got word moments ago that we have permission to work on it. We'll talk details on the new facility when the time comes. We're so close to holding our event. Your next task is the very last thing we need to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's build an apparel shop to finish things up. After all, looking fashionable always puts folks in high spirits. Here we are. This is the plot we reserved for the apparel shop. Let's focus on the outside first. Okay, well, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to build yet. Whoa, I get to choose the window? Okay, which one of these windows do I like the most? Ooh, timeless window display. This one looks like, like Sherlock Holmes themed. I'm going to do like a Sherlock Holmes apparel store. Done. Let's head inside. You know, let's. Ba -ba -da -da. Ooh, God. All right, it's up to you to make this a wonderful apparel shop. The plan is to change the available selection on a daily basis. Really let your design skills run wild. You know me, Lottie. I can't keep it under control. Okay, so the crime scene is going to be over here. I don't know how to, like, put this together. Okay, there's just so much happening. Well, first of all, we have to stick with the theme of, like, Sherlock Holmes. And I feel like this ugly, like, kind of, like, grandma-looking sofa. I don't know. This, just is, this is, like, what every grandma has in her home. Not to say it's ugly. Like, I'm sure it, it ages, like, a fine wine. Ooh, I'm gonna put some shopping baskets by the door as well, because that just seems appropriate. They need to be like, yeah, black is good. Black is good. It needs to all fit the Sherlock theme. Okay, these creepy mannequins I'm just gonna place wherever. And this little child mannequin is actually the murder weapon. Just nobody knows it yet. So yeah, back here is gonna be the changing room. That's where the murder occurred, okay? Okay, can I put clothes on these mannequins at all? No? Oh, I think she said that they were swapped out every day actually so i guess i just can't control that well then we might be done here i like that you can just open this and you're like oh goodness what is that all right i honestly think we're done here i i kind of love this in a weird way yes it's a crime scene but at the same time it has a lot of character i feel like i kind of i kind of hit the nail on the head with the like sherlock vibes decorating it i it looks really good now who is going to be working here oh Bo, no who is our sherlock that is solving the mystery oh <gasps> claude yes 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 
wait, before we do this, we need to give our new apparel shop a name. Oh my gosh, right. Okay, this is it. Shirtlock Holmes, everybody. Oh, it looks so good. There he is, Shirtlock Holmes. He looks like he's ready to tear this place apart. This place looks so freaking good. Somebody open the dressing room, please. It'll make my day. Nobody wants to. It's okay. It's understandable. You don't want to be implicated in that kind of... It's all right. Why does Claude look so sussy? Like, he's he didn't move during the freaking tour, and he's just standing there. He's, like, deliberating. He's figuring out who did it. And honestly, Honestly, it was probably Lottie. One of these people is the murderer, and this man will find out who it is. Now that all the facilities are complete, we can finally hold our special event. It's been a long road to get to this point, but time just flew right by, didn't it? Nico, Wardell, Charlie, thank you so much. Eh, you're welcome. And now, let's head over to the venue for the special event. Yes! It's concert time, baby! Oh my gosh, Vivian is ready. Oh, I wish I could have changed into like a concert outfit. I look kind of like an idiot over here. Oh. Hello? What? Oh, it's KK! Oh, the smoke machine. Oh, the drop is coming. Hello? Who did this? This is fantastic! <laughs> oh? What? Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh, ooh, ooh, happy home, let's go! Oh my god, this is so cool! Famous designer, Charlie! Hey! <laughs> what is this? I'm raving! I'm in I'm in shock and awe. It's the, oh, it's a remix of the happy home! And I get to look at all my houses! Rosetti's dirt hole! Hey! Flatulent front history, how could you forget? Oh, the memories, they're flooding back! The danger zone! Oh, Marina's underwater palace, it's all coming back. I might cry. Oh, that's the one I lit on fire! Oh, I love this! Five guys, the opening of five guys. Six villagers, my bad. Don't sue me. Oh, it's the Ant Hill. I like that one too. <laughs> the old school gym playing Slender. Hospital, another good one. Oh my gosh, this is so sick. Who organized this? I'm losing my mind. Castle Sky Cake. Thank you. Oh, oh my god. That was so cool. Was I dancing or what? Yeah, Lottie was kind of breaking it down. The answer is yes. Yes, I was dancing. Okay. So that was the music connection you had, Wardell. DJ KK is a friend. I thought he was going to say my father. I don't know why. Take the rest of the day off and go get loose. Thank you so much, Lottie. Dancing your heart out is a great way to express yourself. I learned a few dance reactions. Oh, I can't wait to bust out these moves. Mm. All right. Well, that is all I have for today. And I think we are officially done with like the storyline of Happy Home Paradise DLC. And that was so cool. I absolutely loved every second of it. And if you want to see me keep designing other homes, I do have some other villagers I'd like to design for. I'll say it, Zipper. I'd love to design a home for Zipper now that I have the Amiibo card. So if you want to see more, definitely comment down below. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during this adventure and during all these crazy builds that I've done and there's bubbles and oh my gosh this is like the best day ever but anyway what's going <laughs> what's going <laughs> hello okay sorry guys there's a concert going on I gotta I gotta I gotta get back into it all right I will see you guys next time bye <laughs>